A common question we get are at-home remedies to treat palinitis cysts. It depends how you want to actually phrase that. The question is, as I stated, how can I treat this at home? And the word treat is a difficult one because there really aren't any recognized at-home remedies to treat a pilonidal cyst in the sense that you would cure it. That being said, there's much you can do. If you notice you have a pilonidal cyst that is inflamed and swollen, looks like it's actively infected, typically what you need to do is get that pus that's inside and underneath the skin out. Sometimes that needs to be done with a physician where we lance it or do an incision and drainage. Those incision and drainages are specifically only to treat the active infection. They will not cure the pilonidal cyst, but really focused on you are actively infected, let's get you uninfected, and then we will address the cyst later. For some patients and some people, when a cyst is actively infected, they can place a warm compress over that area, over the tailbone, and leave it there for 15, 20 minutes, or maybe soak in a warm bath. And the skin will soften enough that it will self-express itself. And as long as you're able to meaningfully get that pus out, that's the most important thing when it's actively infected. Aside from that, general hygiene, is, as discussed, is typically considered to be an important part. Some people will recommend using laser hair removal or shaving the area in general. If it's efficacious and actually changes the outcome or the long-term severity of a pilomidal cyst is actually still in question. We are looking into that. No clear evidence is shown either way or not, but we do know it doesn't hurt. So if you're considering getting laser hair removal or shaving the area, we say why not, um, but I wouldn't give it as a strong recommendation to do so.